Well, as you can tell, I've done some uh, deconstruction of the uh, derby motor here, and uh, this is a little update of what I got going on, and kind of a show you how this thing a little bit works. I don't know, so uh, I'll show you what I've been doing here so far. So here's some of the crap that I took off. This piece right here, that's actually aluminum off of a, what was that thing, a 91 Crown Vic. So it's like, hmm, it was actually, I had my thanks on there and that must have been the reason I flipped. I must be superstitious or something. But, got the back bar off, it's sitting right there, waiting to be uh, re-put back on somewhere, somehow, but... I got the fenders took off, I got the seat, the seat pan, so I got the front dash ripped off. I'll be removing this piece and this piece and actually bringing it back and I'll actually make a a steel dash plate that will hold the, the steering in place. Um, I've been kind of kicking around reducing down this pulley and and if I do you can see you'll know that this belt right here is actually going to probably come right where the the shift leverage is so that's not going to work so most likely I'll have to put another pulley in to get that past that shift lever. But man there's not really much about that rear end. Um so actually you can disassemble it and take this whole rear piece back and off. You can actually extend your rear end. Probably when I go to put this thing back together I'm gonna probably put some uh pieces of metal in there to strengthen it a little bit. Of course there is this piece right here that goes across and bolts in. <coughs> I'll actually take this rear end into the shop and actually have a milled slot put in for a keyway because we don't have at the shop a uh, indexer to index that thing around and where the tool actually comes down and makes those um, pieces for the spline kind of the old mechanical or manual way of doing it but we just don't have the tooling at the shop to uh, do it and talk to my head guy about it and he's like ah if I would have worked at the we were working at the one shop I was at I'd have you hooked up that night but whatever I'll just take it in spline it and then then I'll bolt it from this side it'll make it a real tougher end and then I'll get new tires for the front. Well, I've got another set out there that are smaller. And I'll lower this thing down into the ground a little more. Yeah. But here pretty soon I'll be... Once I figure out what I'm going to do about the, the rear end. About re-gearing it. Then I'll take... Hopefully this weekend I'll be getting it splined. Or not splined. Keyways cut into it. So I can... uh get those tires put on it and then I'll start figuring out my gearing to reduce that down. One guy, Adam, told me to take it down to I think a three inch pulley. But I don't know if that's going to work with this setup. Because if you notice, when you get on here, when you push in on the brake, it'll loosen up off the front pulley but then you still got tension back here like I said but then when you ease off of it and then it when the pulley's actually got a spring on it so this has always got tension on it and I'm wondering if I reduce that down is that going to pick up any speed it should but you know I just don't know so I don't know, but uh, that's kind of what I got going on right now. I ain't ready doing welding, but 
I'm working on it. But at least when I go redo this, put that guard on there, I can actually take my brake lever because I actually heated this up and bent it back so it wouldn't hit the bar up here. It looks like I can go ahead and put that back to stock, heat that back up, and then bend it back forward to get rid of this piece of metal here that helped me actually apply the brake. So, Plus then it'll be a lot easier to hit the brake on this thing because the leverage point is back to factory. So, Alright, I've wasted enough time. Oh yeah, I actually still have the original gas tank and it's going to go back in. I don't know if you can see. But I actually filled it full of sand and water. Makes that thing heavier. I got to refill it back up. A little bit of it drained out. So But that's what I got going on. So like I said, get off here, stop wasting time. Get cleaned up, get ready to go to work. Gotta love third shift, so. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. And oh yeah, thanks for my new subscribers. I guess I might have something here somebody likes to watch. Whatever, I just enjoyed kind of doing YouTube videos, so. Later on.